this, home. You think this, whatever it is, you got any money out of it? It doesn't see anything out of it. Nah, no. Yeah, you want to take the party up a notch? No, no. You want to take the party up a notch? Oh, yeah, Ooh. Man. Now we're going. That's it. Is this what he does? He's wearing, <laughs> He's wearing thongs. He's wearing thongs. He's wearing more than one. <laughs> Let's take it down. Uh, See, I have to wear two thongs. Yeah. Work one back to front, so I've got full yeah. coverage. Because it looks so good at the front, but the yeah. back is just nasty. So what you want is you want two fronts. All wrong. All wrong. Indeed. Are you getting all this, Ben? This is the best part of the whole fucking interview. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. All right, let's get this party started. Ow! Oh! <laughs> Basketball high fives, my boy. Scroobius P in the place to be. And dollar sack. Dollar nice. sack. What are you doing with your little finger there? It was like it was like it, it caught. It, it's I got a little down uh, a little bit. I got little fused bones in my little fingers. They don't bend. Really? Yeah, yeah. How do you how do you make beats, man? That's, a, that, that's what makes it <laughs> good. <laughs> that's what makes because it's secret I, I power. Can't quite do it properly. You're so the Tommy Iommi of beat, beat makers. <laughs> oh yeah. You know what I mean? It's all not right. It's good to see you, gentlemen. Thanks for popping in on a very important week nice. for you. You know, when the when you when you're single, the single, the only one that we know you of, effectively for, at, at this point. Uh, Thou shalt always kill. Finally available online. Download oh, yeah. it. Download away if you are if you're familiar with the internet. Uh, log on and get stuck in. Apparently, it's quite popular. Is internet, it? yeah, it's taken off. So I say your track. I was gonna say that's humble. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, it's awesome. Apparently, we're incredible Spirit. and we're killing it right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a bomb. <laughs> um, and kind of, you know, out of nowhere, as far as many people were concerned, who who have heard it in the last few weeks on a more mainstream level, now they can go and buy it. But it's been brewing for a while. Um, you know, special support from the John Kennedys of this world, oh, yeah. the Bank Trophy Twins. But how far further back does the tune actually go? When did you? Not, not far at all. I mean, we. One of the things we're really proud of is that we're not on any of the hot in 2007 lists. <laughs> you check every magazine, we're not mentioned. You no one knows a I thing about us. I went back to mine and I added <laughs> you. Changed it, yeah. Exactly, I put <laughs> you yeah. it in. Yeah. I knew, I knew, man. I, was I mean, we made the track like <laughs> December, wasn't it, man? Yeah, it was yeah. Like, so it's literally still yeah. very new for us as well. So, so yeah. we're not sick to death of it yet. Yeah. But yeah. that's on its way. Yeah, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. You've got to make some more stuff and we'll get to that at some point. So it was made in December. And then at what point did you log on to the Gonzo's MySpace and ask if you could come? on the brown couch <laughs> i think that was <laughs> that was like a cut just after john kennedy had played it a bit right. and i just i saw there was a message saying it was on that week and yeah. i just sent a message just saying yeah i've got my eye on that brown couch and what just and what, letting you know and what was your reply their, their response was just scroobius pip just a band and you know who did that <laughs> yeah, <Him. laughs> nice, nice work <laughs> that guy good, over there yeah yeah, yeah. I, yeah. You know, I was kind of hoping for a slightly more venomous reaction from the yeah, two, yeah, two yeah. of you perhaps two worlds yeah. collide rival nations but now you guys are keeping it very copacetic as soon as the that. cameras are off man it's all fucking don't you worry, yeah, don't you yeah. worry. Yeah. sticks at dawn <laughs> uh, <laughs> so december but you guys the relationship goes back a lot further than that and we talked about a bit about this on the radio a bit but it's the first time we've been able to talk about it on the tv and yeah yeah um Is we'll this on tv oh apparently so it's not just on YouTube. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> These, no, we, you couldn't get further from the truth, man. You've heard what Viacom's doing to YouTube. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> go on. Nasty. But, yeah, I mean, we've, I mean, still musically, we're still in our, our rookie year. I mean, we've, mm. and we've known each other on and off for years as friends, enemies, acquaintances mm. at, at various times. But, um, <laughs> yeah, it's sad how true that is. Mm. But then, yes, yeah, it's, it's only been the last uh, six, seven months that we've come together uh, musically. Yeah, so yeah, pretty much. It's all, you always, it's all moving quite quick. Scroob, have you always been kind of, um, you know, had, had a more sort of poetic nature to the way you deliver your lyrics, or are you a big Camp open nature? Camp oh, right? oh, <laughs> yeah. that's, that's sort of quite, have you be, always been kind of limp wristed in the delivery? <laughs> yeah, very much so. No, it's weird, because, like, I mean, people ask, like, 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 how long I've been writing that. And for years, I was writing in little punk bands and that. Mm. Uh, but you don't think of that as being poetic, because it's shouted. But mm. then a lot of bands do have genuinely good messages and good lyrics in there. So, yeah, I don't know. It's always been a bit more. Pretentious and, and <laughs> are you a Saul William delivery? Are you a fan of Saul Williams? Yeah, Sage Francis, yeah, people like yeah, that. Yeah, they're genius. A Sage is, I'd say, a Sage is of, of, of recent people. He's easily my biggest influence because he made it made it clear that you could do poetry and mm. you could just do spoken word as well as hip hop on this kind of thing. And you could, a very, he didn't have to make the two mutually exclusive. They could kind of blend together. But you know your hooks, man. That's what's great about the song is that you know it flows along with no you know sort of like you know, basic concern towards the you know traditional rhythm or structure at all. You're mm. really freewheeling over it, yeah, and then yeah, you've got definitely. your hooks. You know you're just a band hook. People lock into that, and then yeah. you're off again. Uh, dans le sac, je suis partout le boutique mon ami. Um, beats, yeah. influences. Um, well, everything. Square pusher yeah. through, but then through craftwork and can and yeah. new anything. Anything that's not homo. 
Uh, yeah. Pretty much no. <laughs> I, I, I like a story <laughs> when I'm making my music. Um, no, no. Um, yeah, no. <laughs> no DJ Premier, no Dr. Dre, nothing with Premier, guns. Premier, definitely Premier. Yeah. But um, RJD2. RJD2 is RJ. the boy. Yeah. Um, but really, loads of the Death Jet stuff and that as well, mm -hmm. LPs. Have you heard his new oh. album? Bits, bits. We're, good, we're supporting him in a couple of weeks. Nice. And, uh, so I'm going to have to listen to it before then. I <laughs> oh, know this one. Yeah, this one's great. Because the thing is, if you go up to someone like most people, I can go up to and I can be like, I love your record. I'm lying. But the thing is, I go up to LP, I say yeah. that, and he's just going to look straight through me and know that I'm lying because mm. he's got superpowers and shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to mess with him. He'll just rap at you for two hours. He'll just go, I'm physical, inquisible, incredible, incredible, can't quest the door, incredible, some little one, you'll just be like, ah. I might just get him started and just dictaphone it. Yeah. There's a remix coming, man. As far as new music goes, I've heard another track which Rob hooked me up with, which is the uh, Letter to God. Yeah, yeah, good. Which I thought yeah, was really, to to man. yeah, really heavy, man. And lyrically amazing. And I like what you yeah. did with um, with the Radiohead stuff as well with Planet Talix. Yeah, yeah. Which is really cool. So, I mean, we're really pleased that us are getting a good reaction because it is a straight spoken word piece with a beat. You know, whereas About Shout is, you know, it's more commercially viable and accessible because it's, it's single banger. lines, individual, yeah. yeah, that kind of thing. But it's good that this is getting as much reaction and it's just a straight, strong poetry piece. You know, yeah. it's not, again, yeah. but again, we're not going for. A, a verse chorus, verse chorus, and all that. It's just mm. a writing it as we go, and then I'll see how it turns out. You've so. got your sound locked in already, which is really nice, and that's the chemistry that you, you two have together, but um, your work ethic is, is lacking considerably. <laughs> uh, the fact that there isn't an album to promote right now is a huge, huge hole in the market for you guys. And <laughs> it's I, I, not I our fault. Everyone kept playing it. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Didn't give us right. a chance. Oh, sure, Jesus. blame the radio DJs. <laughs> 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 uh, where are you guys at with an album? Give us some some inside track. I mean, we're, we're like, uh, we've got enough now for an album, but we don't uh, want to just record Gosh, an yeah. album now. Because we, we, the most recent stuff we've done have been A, a Letter From God, A Beat Them Hearts, The Thou Shall Always Kill, which mm. have now get the three best reactions. Yeah, so yeah, we kind of feel we want to write a few more and see if we can keep improving, as opposed mm. to say, well, we've got 12 tracks. Mm. See, we could release an album, a yeah. decent album tomorrow, but in two months' time, we could release you know a better one. You can do better than that, is what you're saying, yeah. in a roundabout you know. way. <laughs> it's what you're saying, in a roundabout I didn't say that, I'd, by the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, well, I, I said there. it, yeah. yeah. Um, I love CeeLo. I just want to put that out now. You greaser. You're leaving, <laughs> hanging us out to dry, aren't you? Look, <laughs> I, not guys. me, I love CeeLo. He's, he's, he's not, he's not. I love CeeLo. He's going to meet Danger Mouse in a minute. My collaboration. You guys can, like, lock beards. I was at a subtle gig about a year ago and yeah. we saw a danger mouse in the crowd and I said to my mate that's dangerous he's like yeah yeah is it I walks up to the person next to him and goes you're danger mouse aren't you he'd totally got the completely the wrong guy did and tried you? To no, like my mate did tried to get his autograph and, that. Really? He, and we're watching as danger mouse kind of gets up and walks off to the other <laughs> side of the room <laughs> well, well this dude's just sat again so you're danger mouse yeah I know you are I know you are like, it's in the magazines that, but I'm, I, I know I'm a big fan and got his autograph my <laughs> wife made me do that once at a party night at an Eminem after party to some guy she swore was Terence Trent Derby and it turned out it definitely <laughs> wasn't Terence Trent Derby and I had to spend 10 minutes talking to him pretending that I knew exactly what it was that this guy did yeah. once I clued in uh, mistaken identity we T just quickly tell the Matters Yahoo story because that's that's for funny as hell. You used to go and hang outside Matters Yahoo shows, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, I did. Um, I started off uh, before me and Dan hooked up. I did um, well, I, a load of street performances and that. And I figured I got to the point where I was just doing them outside the gigs because mm. you can perform in a busy town centre and have two people get it, or you can go s have a look at the listings. I'll a, a buck sixty fives in town. He's going to queue up audience. your target audience exactly. against Perfect. a wall, Perfect. so you can just turn up and go hello. Yeah. But yeah, I did that <laughs> outside. People do that. That's actually yeah. genius. Simple man. I we did it for Mr. Scruff, buck sixty five atmosphere all these because I was touring around the country yeah. in a little van and just following and who's <laughs> playing. Yeah, just seeing who's playing, just going bang. Because <laughs> again, I can go to Manchester where I don't know any of the clubs, any of the scenes, but I know there's going to be a load of like-minded people yeah, and yeah. lined up against a wall. Or in the case of Matters Yahoo, a lot of fans. Yeah, 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 exactly. The Matters Yahoo one. What I I I didn't stay long because people were just mistaken me going I'm, I'm looking forward to the show looking forward to I'm like cool man I'm, <laughs> I'm doing this and then I'm going I'm going out with some mates and that but yeah enjoy the show and you could have gotten away with murder right because like, like listen I'm just going to whip off down to Burger King get myself a cheeseburger <laughs> extra you know cheese bacon burger and then I'm going to go to the pub smash the piss Right, you could have just got a dress. Oh, I was glad it started to rain because I was just like, I'm not even doing this now. I'm dying. <laughs> and your beard smells in the rain, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. It gets a bit doggy. It goes like a dog. Yeah. It doesn't. That's a lie. I use Aussie conditioner. It feels good. Yeah, it's good. It's, it's like touching a cloud. I reckon a you're a handsome devil under that, though. I reckon you're hiding behind the beard. Yeah, I can't cover it out. I reckon you are. I reckon ladies love. They, ladies love screw. Ladies love the beard. The, the, uh, it's he a mixture, it. man. He no, it's a mixture. It. A lot of them are, are saying just get rid of the beard and that, but you know. 
This beard is for the gems. <laughs> this, is for the, you, this is for the old school yeah. bands. Wait. Again, we're getting on this camp. Yeah, no, no, no. Make no mistake. You've I got this ladies. wrong. You've got this all wrong. You're taking one for the team. Why, yeah. Way too far here. Shave he takes the beard. far too many for the team. <laughs> I, need, I need to wait for me and Dan to stop w working together, so I'll shave it and relaunch the handsome solo career. Nice, nice, I can't nice. show all my cards now. Bit, you know, this uh, might not work out. This like could be a like a year. Sharky thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 good reference. Those looks. I think, actually, ring the buzzer, Ben. That's the first time Fergal Sharky's ever been mentioned on Gonzo in five years. <laughs> good work. Oh. These kind of reference points, they don't come around very often because obviously we like to reference people like Fergal Sharky. Uh, <laughs> the video so. for, uh, for Thou Shalt Always is, a, is another classic little sleeper hit. Oh, it cost you nothing. Awesome. It's awesome. Yeah. I think it cost us a thing. It was uh, Nick Frew who, who did it as like, he just he dug the track and that and the rest of the crew all did it as a favour to him. He did it yeah. as a favour to us and mm. he just, he captured it perfectly. He just, yeah, he got everything just in there nicely, man. Mm -hmm. He did great. And you had good performance as well, man. Yeah, it was good. It was good. I found it was weird though. doing. You find the walking along a little yeah, bit. Cheers. Fruity. Let's keep saying I'm a bit fr <laughs> fruity. Let's go that on a the theme, shall we? <laughs> There's never going to be an album. I got a beat for you. Oh no, wait. <laughs> Try this one. Oh, Try this one. It'll be that's right. you. Yeah, that's this is me and Dan. Oh. Yeah. This is this is screwed. We've got a grind. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's what All oh, right, yeah, yeah, that's all. Let's beat up the guy. <laughs> that's the how I roll. Let's beat, let's beat up the hands and doing the beat. No, but the, the video is <laughs> awesome. Nick's done such a good job. And, yeah, yeah. Just and it was just good, I mean, because it was the first professional kind of thing. That yeah. I've done. I mean, I've done loads of little uh, film mm. things with mates and mm. students now over the years, but just seeing them all uh, uh, building the s sets and that around us, yeah. just all on a... Your performance was great, man, great. and, you know, you, I think that that was a big part of it, you know, because let's be honest, his cameo, not much to write home awful. about. Awful. Um, you should us, have seen it him It was the longest it. bit. It took oh, us ages awful. to show. Trying to get over the bench. This is fat man from Essex. <laughs> oh, God, what's his, going his, on? His, like, one-minute scene was, like, an, at least an hour to shoot that, like, ten, awful, two man. seconds. I'm, j I'm just <laughs> thing. I'm just not comfortable in that sort of situation. Yeah, yeah. And it, trying trying to get me to look at the camera. I kept looking for approval from yeah, the director. Yeah. Oh, it's good because it was it was last uh, a part we shot of the whole thing as well. So the camera crew and they're all doing this for free. We're getting a bit <laughs> moody by that point. As Dan's staggering over the bench again, he's going, <laughs> start positions. <laughs> Take two, go again. <laughs> <laughs> Is that all right? Don't feel bad, man. You know, you, you, you're a bedroom beat maker. That's, That's what it, you do. You know, you I don't get out much, to be honest. Exactly. Um, so many great lines in the song. It'd be a shame not to analyze it, because after this moment, we, you know, we're going to have to say goodbye to a certain set of this track and push forward to an album. Yeah. Next time you guys join us on the couch, we won't spend that much time talking about Thou Shout. Thanks so God. we should focus about it right now, you know. Do you really, you know, you really not, you know, you never make the crowd say ho? Ever? Not, not your thing? No, no, no. It's, 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 I mean, the you have to apologise. I mean, just because no, I do it. No, the know, crazy okay. thing about it is there's a, a, there's a load of little serious lines, and a load of real tongue in cheek ones, and people are. I mean, the whole enemy thing. Yeah. They've been really cool about it. Like mm. when they first rung me up, they were a little bit. So what's your problem? <laughs> it's, like, it's like, well, we got all the Nestle and Coke thing. That's all serious. But yeah. then there's other ones which are just like a bit of a you know. So Holyoaks, Nestle or enemy. Hollyoaks and, and Nestle. Nestle, isn't way, it? Man. Thank God you said that, man, because I just can't, can't get down it. with that as well. We, I, I bought, um, uh, last summer, I bought a little uh, air conditioning thing for in my living room for mm. my family. Mm. My mum put Hollyoaks on, wouldn't turn it off. That air conditioner remained in my room for the rest of that <laughs> year. Because <laughs> <man. laughs> I was like, right, fine, you're putting Hollyoaks on, I'll, I'll, I'll take my ash upstairs. What you know? I love is that I your mother chose Hollyoaks yeah, over yeah, air over, conditioning over in the hottest summer over in like comfort. 30 years. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's com that's well, no wonder it's a bugbear. You know? <laughs> bad news, bad <laughs> so, news. All right, pick a line. Oh, they're picking a line, I'm picking a line. They're picking a line. Someone, uh, Dan, you pick Ooh. one first, you pick a line. And then, right. you got, and then what, we got to explain it? Is it a deal? Ah, oh, shh. Genius. Ah, oh, piece of cheese. Thou shalt not question Stephen Fry. It yeah. just speaks for itself. You, you can't. Yes. The guy's a legend. Mm. QI, everything. He's mm. a genius. Mm, mm, mm. Great taste in tea. Intellect, Wonderful. humor, gay. Gay. He's perfect. He's yeah. literally he wrote um, <laughs> the, like, the best gay ever made. <laughs> ever, <laughs> on, on the planet, definitely. That's just a fact. He is Ain't no question in that. He's top gay, top gay banana, isn't awesome. he? It's awesome. Right, yeah, pick a line and, and subsequently explain it. Gay it you go. It's freaking me out, mate. Thou shall not read enemy. There you go, done it. Next. Done. Dan. Do you not go go? You can explain one. Okay, I'll, I'll explain the next <laughs> you one can then. see what we think. I'll explain the next one. All right. Thou shalt not stop liking a band just because they've become popular. Now, I'm a big believer in this as well, yeah. because sometimes we get a bit of heat on the radio show about su st still supporting the likes of Coldplay and U2 mm. and all this kind of stuff. And by rights, we should let your song go, because hello, it's out and it's popular. Yeah. But you know what I mean? I, I, man, I think music's music. To hell with yeah, it. Definitely. Right, you know? It's tough, though, because I think it can uh, be a bit of a natural reaction at, at times. I mean, I've been uh, guilty of that before, mm. and then realising 
I enjoyed Blink One Eighty Two. You mm. know, no, I mean, I enjoyed oh, and stuff straight, like that. And it's just album. like, yeah, it's just like but you have to kind of just when get you over find, it and get when you it find it. something that you're the only person that found, you do feel like it's yours. You mm. you have ownership of that record, mm. and then when everyone start else starts getting there, it's sort of you don't quite have that connection to it anymore. Sometimes, yeah. So I mean, I suppose it's difficult. It's, it's probably an important part of letting go and moving on to something yeah. else. But you know, I'm a big revisitor of things. Like let it go, come back to it a year later. And Currently, that's a big revisiting moment. I'm actually a massively back. Joy Division, Unknown Pleasures. Went yeah. back to that on Saturday morning. Nice. Awesome. He's a party, party, he likes to party, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm a really... Can, Joy Division. Yeah, Seriously. Yeah. Party Careful. around yours, dude. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's you got, bouncy around my You got one in your hand, and then we'll call it a day. Mike. I, I, I can't actually explain this one. Which one is it? Uh, Lethal Weapon by Danny, Danny Glover. Glover. See, because I like Danny Glover. I... I you know. But, but you weren't being ironic in that one, or were you? Yeah, 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 yeah it was. I mean, I love... I love a Danny Glover, he's, he's, he's great, man. But you're not a big um, Lethal Weapon fan. I'm not a big Lethal Weapon Di fan, Die Hard no, you know. <sighs> Die Hard's yeah, a number, a, a, you know, I'm looking forward to the our relationship one. It's going to be beautiful. Very, very well handled there, because it could have gotten real nasty. No, you, can't, you, you can't <laughs> beat a Die Hard <laughs> film, you can't. Clench it. Well done, well done, good turn. Hey, shall we have a little jazz, shall we throw down? Oh, this fucking piano. Right, let's do this thing. Ah, yeah. Well, let's do this. You got I some can chops? just sit this shit out. You got some chops? Go nah, for you it. Gotta Take get on it. This. Come on. You got to get on this. Come I've on, got man. Got no oh, that's it. I'll have that. Hold up. <laughs> you broke it. Right, man. You're going to get on this? I'm going to give you a little rhythm. I'm going to hit some ill freaks. Oh. oh. Yeah. Build it like crunk. We're cracked up. Lissac versus Pit Wayne, he'd steal the show. Never be the one to go and interrupt Zane Lowe. He is strictly by invitation. I had vocal variation and a little imagination. This is just a freestyle though. Ain't gonna ruin the show. <laughs> Can't be laughing. <laughs> Could be worse though. Could have that blonde guy with my chemical romance. Crying oh, like someone's got his Jeez. gonads. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Hit. We wrecked it. We wrecked it. <laughs> that was awesome. Where did you get that? Before my harmonica. Oh, I'll just play some beats on that, that, man. Make sure, make sure <laughs> Good job. <laughs> it, man. We dropped the bomb. <laughs> I'm going to drink my tea. No, fuck off. That was great. Are we done? Yeah, great fun, right. sir. What do I do? You can have that. Beautiful. That's a right nice. font, that. I quite like that font. That's the greatest little machine there, that little beat making machine. That's heavy. I love it. Oh, shit. Yeah, <laughs> You're attached. Oh, it's attached and shit. It could be worse. It could be that blonde one from Chemical Romance. <laughs> 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 <laughs>